Welcome back to First Tech Math with Brian Thomas. Today we're going to go one step further and we're going to talk about simplifying expressions. Again, this is, website is uh, referred to as Algebra Tiles, and if you want to Google Algebra Tiles, uh, Algebra for All, you'll be able to find this on the internet. Uh, again, what we want to do is we want to simplify this expression 4x minus 2x. If we can model 4x minus 2x, we maybe understand why this can simplify. So 4x, we understand that, that just means 4x is added together. So I'm just going to add 4x's together over here. And I'm going to combine that with two negative x's. So again, we have two terms. The first term is a 4x, and then the second term is this negative 2x. So negative 2x means that we just put two negative x's over there. So that should give us our expression. Now our step two means we're going to combine like terms to simplify the expression. In this case, x's are like terms, and more specifically, an x and a negative x are what we call a zero pair. If we slide a negative x over to an x, those should zero out and disappear. So negative x and a positive x should go together. So if we have four x's and two negative x's, if we simplify that, we're just left with two x's all together. And that would be what we refer to as simplified. Let's look at another example. So if I want to model this, I have two negative ones, because that is a negative two, and I have a negative one. So if we look at this, I have two negative ones and I have a negative one. And if you look, what you should see is we just simply have three negative ones, or we would say that's a negative three. And that's just as simple as that can get. A negative three cannot be simplified. So that's our final answer for that one. A negative two and a negative one would just mean a negative three. Well, four plus one, we can model that. And of course, we would get five. Let's look at a little harder example there. We'll go to medium. Whoa. So medium jumped up a little bit on me here. Uh, got a lot of terms. So I have one, two, three, four terms. To model the first term, we have three x squared. So I'm going to slide over three x squared. And then I'm going to have a four. A four means four ones. And then we have a negative 2x squared, which means two negative x squared. And then I have a 3, which again means it's three ones. Okay. So notice that my first step checks off here. And we did see that it shows 3x squared, a negative 2x squared, and a 7 down at the bottom. So it looks like already it's putting the ones together to see seven ones. But what also could be done though is an x squared and a negative x squared, those actually could come together and zero each other out. So if I drag those together, that's actually going to shrink the problem down a little bit. So it's going to take me down to just an x squared. So the three x squared is going to go with two negative x squared. So again, we would call those like terms. The x squared is to go together and get us an x squared. And the 4 and the 3 also called like terms, they go together and give me a 7. So we end up with x squared plus 7 as my answer. Let's see if we can find a harder one than that, possibly. I don't know if it's harder, but it's definitely longer. So we have, now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. So we want to put these out here. So when I have this, I see a negative x squared. Also, instead of just going left to right, I can jump around. A negative x squared can go with 3x squared. So I'm going to just kind of pull it out and start with them. Kind of put my like terms next to each other. The negative 3x and the negative 2x kind of look like, ter like terms, so I'm going to put those together. Then I have a 4 and a 2 are like terms. So I have four ones. And 
then two more ones. So we should now see that we have a problem modeled. We've got our check mark. We're also kind of seeing down here that some of the stuff is already looks like it's been simplifying. We have five negative x's, or they write that as negative five x, and we have six ones. I'm already seeing six ones down here. What we also can see though is a negative x squared and a positive x squared, that's what we call a zero pair since they're opposite sign. Those should go together and just zero each other out. Now I'm left with two x squared, five negative x's, and a six. So we can write that as two x squared, a negative five x, and a six. And that would be our answer to that problem. So that's how we can kind of simplify expressions using uh, algebra tiles. So thank you, and we'll continue on to the next lesson.